Oh god. Oh god. Okay, run. 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 Walk. <clears throat> walk away. Just, 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 just walk away. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yes. All right, all right. We got. <sighs> yes. We might actually survive this. Okay, here we go. This, this time, this time for sure. All right. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Not at all. I'm gonna just hide. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna just save right here. Hold on. Yeah. Game? Hello? <sighs> so here we are. Second form of the boss. Not sure how this is gonna go. It's got some moves. I'm not quite sure. Um, I have a feeling I understand how this is supposed to work, but I'm not... Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't not want to be in third person perspective while having a gun out. What is going on? Alright, that's the best. How do I get out of third person? I don't understand what's happening. I've never done this before. Alright, well, whatever. We're gonna do. Gonna beam up in the air when he's over there. Maybe. Maybe I'm just gonna die. I don't really know. Light! Aziz, light! There, I was able to turn it on, but way too late. What is this thing's major malfunction? I do not understand this boss fight at all. Obviously, this is scripted somehow, but I don't understand it at all. Okay, so he's over there. There. Is that how you do it? I don't understand this at all. Um, at least I seem to be in very little danger. <laughs> that is definitely something. Um, wow, okay. Mm, thank you. What happens if I, like, wield a melee weapon and then holster it and then quick pull out a gun? Nope, I am stuck in this view. He's just, like, throwing random people at me. Um. Okay. So, this spotlight seems to be broken. That or I cannot turn it off. Maybe I have to turn on all of them? I don't, I don't understand. I think... on light spotlight on yeah there now it's weakened we can kill it or not I have no idea what's going on folks what so the bat is on fire that does not seem to have had any effect on him the machine gun seems to have way more effect I'm just gonna keep shooting. No reason to stop. <gasps> Grenade time! Oh yeah! If ever there was a time that called for the use of a grenade, this was it. Alright, here we go. Well, stop. Get away. Guys, get away. Out. Oh, trapped in its apocalypse. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm really excited now. I'm really excited. Yeah. I- okay. So I have a save file where I have almost full health. Like, this is super exciting. I might actually survive. Alright. So. Hold on a sec here. Uh-oh. This was post-transition to third person. Hold on. Can we look up how to get out of third person? Um... Hotkey menu, mouse look, camera in out, back up front. Where's. What did I push that did this? F3, arm ranged weapons, character editor, M mouse look, toggle view, Z. Okay. 
wonderful. <gasps> He's back. Come back here, buddy. Okay, we need the flamethrower. Flamethrower, please. Immediately. There we go. Just another little tap for you. Perfect. Go over here. Bite in the... Oh. There we go. Bite another special forces guy. Get all the blood anyone could ever want. Okay, okay. All right, you want to stop? There. I'll give you two little taps. That's all you get. That's your ration of fire for the time being. Now, I obviously don't understand how these are supposed to work. You're, you're supposed to blind the creature, that's much is clear, but it doesn't ever really go... Oh, there. Yeah, all right. That's how that works. It just sort of flies into him randomly like an idiot. And that's it. It's done. Oh, yes. All right, I just got... Oh, I don't even have to fight the other guys. That's it. Uh... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <sighs> what fresh hell is LaCroix going to be? <sighs> Everybody, this has been a wild ride. We're finally here. Weapons are still not allowed. Hey man, what's up? Like sire, like child. I should have killed you. You think you've taken everything away, but I still have my sarcophagus. Yeah, and I have the key, motherfucker. Excuse me, Brian. I'm you've so sorry. You've done all the work for me once again. So much to learn. I thought I had lost it all, but now, here you've sailed on a Gehenna wind, bearing my salvation. The key. You want it so bad? Why don't you come over here and take it? <laughs> Give me the key. <laughs> I won't. I said, Give me the key. Don't waste your time. Sit down. Oh, oh, wow. Don't you see? The Kuei Jin will kill us all. I, I can't lose. I will open the sarcophagus. I'll build an empire. It won't end here. You want the key, LaCroix? Fetch. It's a gift from the Anarchs. Everybody, that was amazing. Oh, I didn't even have anything to say. I'm just so happy. Oh, that was incredible. Hey, Master Rock, buddy, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you don't really talk much, do you? <laughs> hey, it happened just like you said. <laughs> they never even knew what hit them. Through that sarcophagus out there, they just tore each other up trying to get to it. And it can't. Worked out all right, huh? <laughs> 
Oh, it's the best. Oh, I'm so happy. Wherever you go, the blood of Cain makes our fate. All right, everybody. Finally, we're finally at the end of this game. Bless every one of you that stuck with me through over a year of playing this game bit by bit with plenty of stops and setbacks and endless boss fights and Linkin Park montages. Guys, this was great. I It couldn't have ended better. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. <sighs> All right. This is really one of my favorite games, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to Let's Play it. It has its issues, as we both experienced through this playthrough, but what it offered, to me at least, was like a world where your choices were moral. There were moral choices. You could do the right thing and you could do the wrong thing. But it wasn't like Mass Effect where there was a reason. You know, you had to be a good guy all the time. You had to be a bad guy all the time. You could choose your fights. You could choose who you liked and who you wanted to be nice to and who you wanted to be terrible to. Um, and it was a really effective setting. I think the modern setting in this game is just fantastic. Um, they do such a good job making it an open world, but not entirely an open world. Um, Every corner feels like there's something in it to explore, especially in the first two environments that have the most going for them. I mean, you can't, you know, spit in any direction without ending up at a different quest. And I think that really speaks to how well designed this game was. I just think they ran out of time. Um, the last, the whole last part smegs of we need to strap an ending to this and off we go. Um, I mean, that's really, that's really what it boils down to. And I think that that's one of the few things that really held this game back from being one of the best games that was made for PC during this time. Um, it just has so much good for it. I can't, I can't say enough good about it. I could just gush for two hours, but I'm not going to. Um, I don't know. This game is definitely one, even having watched my playthrough, if you haven't uh, played this game yourself, you definitely should. Uh, pick a clan other than Torador. I recommend Malkavian or Nosferatu. Both of them have ways that kind of twist how the game is played. Um, you play a Malkavian, you're crazy, and all of your dialogue is gibberish. And some people in the game respond positively to that, and some people respond negatively. Um, and that's really fun. And uh, Nosferatu, you're, you're terribly ugly, just like the other Nosferatu. And um, you have to run through the sewers and hide, do all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. So so, what is this? Vampire the Masquerade, Vampire the Requiem developer. The Requiem. Oh, Ma Requiem is the, okay, the new game. Um, so yeah, uh, as, as I mentioned multiple times throughout this game, this game was based on a ta tabletop game. And that game, people always say this, uh, that game got me through a lot of tough times. Um, I got that book, the first edition of it, from the library and my friends and I made characters and we were absolutely astounded how easy it was to make characters because you just get numbers one through five just like in the game and um, we just couldn't get enough of it I must have spent all summer underground I must have looked like a vampire after the first summer we played this game because it hit us really hard there's something very compelling about playing someone super powered in a modern world um, on the edge of humanity, um, and sort of playing with those those themes of morality and what's right and what's wrong, and the power fantasy of being a vampire is just amazing. Um, vampire the Masquerade will always have a special place in my heart. Um, Requiem is its sequel, a game they tried to refine and make the game better, and it did mechanically make the game better, but it seemed to lose kind of the heart of the power struggle between the different fractions that really makes this universe so compelling. I mean, this game isn't the only time where you choose between the Anarchs and the Werewolves and everybody doing everything, and um, the World of Darkness role-playing game, kind of the core of its genius, is almost every supernatural creature has a book and you can play as it, so you can run campaigns that entirely revolve around the Werewolf world, or the Kuei Jin world, 
or the vampire world, obviously, or um, you can play a wraith. You can play a wraith and um, try to possess and compel people to bring your, your life to closure. And you can play as a changeling, which is something that isn't in this game at all, thankfully, but um, be kind of these twisted, half-human, half-fey creatures. It's, it's such a compelling role-playing game. Definitely check it out with your group if you have one. If you don't have one, look at the books. Um, they actually, I think they're on Drive Through RPG now, all of the books, and I think they're compiled into one source book. Uh, now, I think the 20th anniversary of the game, they did that, or at least most of it. There's some things that are missing, but by and large, that's it. But um, this game is a great adaptation of the world. Um, it has a little bit of dark humor uh, that I just really like. Some of the stuff, um, there's so many little details. I could just ramble for hours about what I think of this game, but stuff like we didn't get to, to explore, um, the Deb of Night radio show and some of the commercials they came up with for that radio show are some of the most hilarious things. They rival, if not even better, than the stuff that was produced for GTA. And GTA is really famous for that kind of stuff. This game didn't get anywhere near enough credit. Um, I still make jokes about frickin' chicken, which is uh, one of the things that comes up on there. Um, and it had an incredible soundtrack. Oh, gosh. The licensed music, like, licensed music worth losing um, copyright strikes to. It was so good. Oh, I loved it. They, the bands, um, many of them are still on and still touring now, and they still do exactly what you expect. Um, oh, gosh, it's so great. Um, there's one thing I would like to, to tell you that may or may not be uh, particularly, you know, on the level. It might be a little bit illicit. Is all of the sound files for this game, the, the songs, are in a directory in the Steam folder um, or on the CD if you purchase the CD. You can rip the MP3s off and you can listen to them in iTunes or whatever you use to play music, and they're all pretty much correctly um, attributed to their artist. So. You can look it through the soundtrack that way. Play it. Um, I don't have much else to say other than I'd really like to thank everybody who watched all the way through with me. Um, I know there's like two or three or four of you now, and um, it means a lot. It means a lot that you stick with me, even though I don't produce content on any kind of schedule. Um, that things are just kind of terrible. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you can't even hear my voice. I, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I really have a lot of fun playing video games with my friends. And you guys are my friends. So <laughs> I really enjoy doing that. And um, it allows me to get closer to some of you that live far away. Um, Brian, that's, that's you, man. Um, Hannah, if you're watching, you too. Uh, Josh and um, Chris, you guys watched. You're close. And you'll actually show up and like tell me stuff in real life. Like, I need to need to stop doing this or do that. or uh, And Josh, thanks for the strats to try and help me beat Ming. Um, you're definitely part of the reason I survived that fight. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't have anything else to say. This game is over. Next time, I'll see you, I guess.